Hey everyone, welcome back to your channel Cisco Config and in this video we are going to discuss the second layer of OSI model that is data link layer. Data link layer is second layer of OSI model and layer 2 goal is hop to hop delivery. Layer 2 is going to interact with the physical layer. It's actually going to put 1s and 0 on the wire and receiving 1s and 0 from the wire during transmission and receiving the data. Which means whatever is going to connect it to this wire on the PC side is considered a layer 2 item. This is normally a NIC or network interface card also called LAN card where we connect the layer 1 cable. The Wi-Fi access card is also considered a layer 2 because it's interacting with Wi-Fi radio signal to transfer bits. The overall goal of the layer 2 is hop to hop delivery meaning layer 2 device's goal is to take 1s and 0 from this network card and move it to the other network card. This is we call hop to hop delivery. To accomplish this goal, layer 2 is going to use a specific addressing scheme. That addressing scheme is known as MAC addresses. MAC addresses are 48 bit long which are represented as 12 hexadecimal digits. Window machines typically use the dashes in between the hexadigits. Linux machines typically use colon and Cisco router and switches are typically use the dots between the hexa digits. Anyway, it's just 12 hexa digits which is converted into 48 bits. Every network card in this world is having a unique MAC address. Meaning this computer network card is having MAC address AA11 and this computer network card is having MAC address EE88. -E to make it simple for you, I only show you first four digit of MAC address, but in reality MAC address is having 12 hexa digits. This MAC address is, is what is going to allow data to go from one network card to the next. So we learn that network card exists on layer 2 of OSI model. But there is another type of devices that also exist at layer 2 that is switches. Switches are devices that facilitate the communication within a network. Meaning if these two hosts are connected via switch, the switch is going to help traffic move along to accomplish this task. Also, switch allow us to connect many devices to them. If these two hosts want to share some data, the switch help to transfer data between this host to this host. And this process is called switching. So switches are also considered layer 2 technology because they participate to accomplish layer 2 goal that is hop to hop transfer. Now generally on the internet we are communicating with things that are far away. They are not on the same network. So it's very common for communication between hosts is required multiple hop. Meaning we need to pass multiple routers to get the destination host. Each of those routers are connected with wires by using their own network interface card. And each of those network interface card having their own MAC addresses and layer 2 will handle taking data from first MAC address and deliver to the next MAC address and from this network card to the next network card and from this network card to the next network card and finally from this network card to the destination host network card. So here you notice MAC addresses or layer 2 is handling the hop to hop delivery of data. There is one question, if layer 2 is only taking care of every hop, what ensure that data is going from this endpoint to this? So that's where the layer 3 comes into play, that is network layer. And the layer 3 goal is end to end delivery, where in other hand layer 2 goal is hop to hop delivery. That's it for the second layer of OSI model, that is data link layer. In next video, we will discuss the third layer of OSI model that is network layer. Thank you for watching and please don't forget to like, share and subscribe my channel. Thank you.